welcome to this episode of Voices of Creativity Online. I'm your host, Lucas Luna. With us today, we have writer, Mr. Chris Dickens. Uh, could you please tell us a bit about yourself and your background? Well, what's up, Lucas? Thanks for having me, man. Um, my background, as far as comic book writing and creating, uh, I think I got started back in, I think, 2009. I'd written a screenplay, actually, because I wanted to make a movie in Hollywood. And uh, actually, I had an agent, and that was really cool. And the agent said that we needed to create a comic book as a leave behind. If you know what a leave behind is, it's some kind of a tangible, something that you can give to a producer, director, Hollywood mover and shaker, decision maker, if you will, uh, to kind of show the vision of the hero and the story that we had in mind. And so I went online, I jumped into a lot of Facebook groups for independent comics creators, made some connections, made some friends, and we came up with the little uh, eight page ash can, as we called it, to you know show the producers and the powers that be what we had in mind. And we showed it to some friends and everybody wanted to see what happened next and they wanted us to do something else. And so we went on a Kickstarter and created book one, and we've kind of been doing it ever since. I don't know if that answers the question, but that's the that's the origin story, if you will. And uh, I know that you work more on the independent side, so what's that like working independently in, in an industry like comics? Honestly, independent comics are a thankless kind of a, a world because you don't make any money. As a matter of fact, I've had five successful Kickstarter campaigns. I've put out, I think, nine different books at this point, and I've never made a single dollar off of comics. Um, everything I've done from, you know, I've had self-publishing symposiums at comic book conventions. I've been a panelist at Comic-Con, WonderCon, you name it. I've taught people how to make comics, and I have never actually, actually, I did make money speaking at a university once. So I actually got paid to speak and to teach once upon a time. Um, independent comics is everything you know about comics without the recognition. And sometimes the independents can blow up and become the next Walking Dead, but for me, that has not been the case. So it's really a, a labor of love and something that, that you do for passion and creativity and to express yourself. And uh, I know they currently are working on a project called Ronin. Could you tell us a bit about, a bit about that? Sure. I don't know how much time you have, but I can give you the whole story if you want. Um, the, the Ronin started, I had a comic book called Vigilante Project. It's a really cool book, really cool story, completely my own creation. And uh, as we were, you know, I mentioned we were trying to make it into a movie or a TV show. We were posting a lot of things about our dream casting, you know, who we wanted to be in the movie, who wanted to be in the TV show. And one of our dream castings was Kerry Hiroyuki Tagawa. If you know who that is, he's Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat movies. That's my age. I was in like 95. You probably weren't born in 95, my friend. But um, he's on Man in the High Castle. He's been in a lot of different films. Anyhow, I had tagged him in a post and he got back to me and we actually ended up talking on the phone about the role. And he tells me, this sounds like your typical bad guy. I'm done with bad guys, click, you know? And I thought, man, that was, that was kind of harsh. But I actually emailed him back and said, hey, you know, what, what are you kind of looking for? And he says, if I could find a role like the Ronin, that would be perfect. And long story short, I'd never heard of the Ronin. I went and found the book that he was talking about. It's actually based on a Zen myth, which is a very old classic story in Japan. I read about it, I, I read the novel, and like one day I loved it. I sent him back a thank you email saying, hey, thanks for recommending this. Do you know if there's a comic book or a movie about it? And he called me back and he goes, no, I've always wanted to make a movie or a comic book. Maybe we can do it together. And I was like, oh, son of a biscuit. So Carrie Tagawa and I started talking about making the Ronin into a comic book or a graphic novel and potentially into a film or TV show. And he, uh, he was around, he was part of the first Kickstarter in the first book. Um, he's been super busy ever since, but that's what got me going in the Ronin. I actually bought the rights to the novel and converted it to a, a graphic novel format. So I'm actually, it's, a, it's an adaptation rather than an original story. And so I've been putting that together. We just had book two on Kickstarter, got funded, got sent out. Book three is written. And if I'm feeling bold, we might go back to Kickstarter to make book three a reality. So what does uh, creativity mean to you and how is it important in the work that you do? Hmm. What does creativity mean? Creativity for me means freedom of speech because create like whatever your, 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 your medium, whether it's film, whether it's TV, stand-up comedy, comic books, professional wrestling, you anime, you name it. Um, you're able to put your own experiences, your own thoughts, your own passion and your own ideas into something that you're able to share with the world. I think Chris Rock once said that stand-up comedy is the final frontier of free speech, which 
I won't say that stand up is it, but I think creativity is it. I think as long as we can put our passion and our hearts into something and distribute it, whether it's a major worldwide distribution or just on your own Facebook, YouTube, whatever channel, I think that to me is what creativity is, is self-expression, um, it's commentary on the world, and it's of course freedom of speech. All right. And do uh, you have any upcoming projects that you're excited about? You know, the Ronin is the only thing I've been working on lately. Um, I love the Ronin. I think it's great, but it is a lot of work and it takes a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, the people have been asking for book three after book two got sent out. So that's probably the next thing is to do another Kickstarter because I can't afford to do it on my own and bring book three to the masses. Aside from that, um, I have a YouTube thing I do with my son, uh, reviewing anime. And that's kind of fun thing that I do, but that's about it right now. It's just anime and, and comic books is, is the world for me right now. So I don't know if you guys um, are following, you know, lionheartcomics.com. That's where you can find the Ronin stuff. You can go to YouTube and type in TK Dono. That's my son, T-K-D-O-N-O. -O. You can see our anime antics, okay? But that's about it, man. I'm kind of boring these days. We're all stuck inside, sheltering in place, safe at home, but that's the beauty of being a nerd, right? We can do our thing and, and keep writing, keep drawing, keep doing whatever it is you do, so. All right, uh, thank you, Mr. Chris Dickens for appearing on our show. This has been Voice of Creativity Online.